I'm Jill Duffy with PCMag.com and this is What's New Now. Apple fans recently got brand spanking new iPhone 6s and iPhone 6 Pluses, and a bunch of people promptly stuck those $750 iPhone 6 Pluses in their front and back pockets and went about their day, walking, working, driving, dancing, and in some cases, sitting on the phone that was in their back pocket. And then they were outraged to find that at the end of the day, their phones were bent. The very vocal online community are calling it Bendgate. Okay. I get that people expect a device to be fairly rugged. A smartphone is one of those things you bring with you everywhere. You toss it in your bag or your purse, you throw it onto your desk, your nightstand, and most of us have probably even dropped a phone on the sidewalk or on the kitchen tile or linoleum if your floors are kind of old. And very often, depending on how it lands, it'll survive. Of course, since the tipping point of smartphones, we've also come to realize that we need to be a little bit careful with these devices that cost hundreds of dollars. So maybe invest a few bucks in a protective case or a scratch-proof screen cover. People who bought iPhone 6 Pluses wanted a phone with a bigger screen. They also wanted a phone that was thin and one that in Apple parlance just works. Does the iPhone 6 Plus with its five and a half inch screen meet all of that criteria? Yeah. And does it being thinner, longer, and wider than previous models have a bit of give? Yep. Now in the barrage of images hitting Twitter, see the hashtag Bendgate, I also noticed on the day that the iPhone 6 Plus launched, a few women were posting photos of the very large iPhone jutting out of their skinny jeans pockets, with tweets noting that the gigantic phone simply doesn't fit in pockets. Maybe that should have been the first tip off that these phones aren't pocket proof. For more on Bendgate, check out PCMag.com. I'm Jill Duffy and that's what's new now. <laughs>